up guys welcome back to the minor james channel and as i have been requesting in our comment section that you should tell me the place that you would like us to visit in the, in the next time now guys you have requested me to do for you a video at the Lua 2014 bridge and that's why i'm here to fulfill your promise and you shall be learning about the Lua 2014 bridge it is the only floating bridge that we have in, uh, in eastern africa that is running over the Indian ocean and it is located in the coast of kenya so and to make you guys have some information about this is that this is just a temporary project that you shall be visiting and have some more information about it and this one is just meant to just to show an example and an illustration of how another permanent bridge would look like and it is meant to cater for the huge numbers of people who pass by who use this bridge in their daily activities don't forget to check out in our previous video about the ferry that's why now we have this we are trying bridge to enable people to move more easily because for the ferry there are some delays some waste of time but for this one it's just open and you just walk within a short period of time so guys stay tuned don't forget to subscribe share comment like on our video and let us have a tour over the bridge this is the general design of the bridge and it covers a distance of 824 meters and the other details of the floating part as you can see at the which is at the middle i'll given here the the <coughs> the lengths yeah, these are the major details about this bridge. So we shall be touring and having one-on-one -on -one experience. So as you can see guys, the bridge starts with just a foundation that is touching the, the dry land. You can see there are some rocks, some concrete there that is meant to make the bridge be firm. And as we walk, Along the bridge, you shall see that the bridge is now floating. Yeah, let's continue seeing and watching, guys. Guys, as I have told you, the ferry is just over there. So you find that this bridge is making it easier for people and pedestrians to use it more often and without any trouble of maybe having to wait for the ferry and that. So we are approaching the part where now the bridge is covered. The aluminium part of the bridge is seen. So let's see. Now the fruiting part begins here and as you can see guys is that the material that has been used here is a type of metal that does not support rusting. This is to ensure that this bridge is durable and it can be able to serve for quite a longer period of time and on the sides you can see that there are rails. These are for the safety reasons for the pedestrians who use this bridge in their daily activities to ensure that they are not exposed to any danger of falling into the ocean yeah This bridge is normally very busy in the mornings and in the evenings as people are moving and going to work and that's why you find that it has two rails to make sure that people are moving freely without colliding or any form of minor accidents happening within the bridge. So we are approaching the center part of this floating bridge and at this point this is where the bridge now normally opens up so that the sheep and other water bodies can pass I shall be showing you
the opening part of this bridge begins from this here structure and from here moving forward that is the section that normally opens to create way. At this point the bridge normally rises up to sit on the bus that are on both sides of the bridge and this enables a clear way for the water bodies to pass through and during this time pedestrians are not allowed to use the bridge. Here are some of the machines that normally help the bridge in its functioning. They are controlled by people to make sure that the bridge opens and closes. And guys, you have heard me saying of opening and closing. Now this is the part where the bridge, it's like a gate. You are, maybe some of my viewers, you can wonder, it's opening where, how. So this is the gate and you can see that there is a gap to, between now them both sides of the bridge. It's now, it's like a gate that now opens to separate the bridge. Are you wondering how this bridge fruits? This bridge has some gadgets that support buoyancy. On both sides they are located and they help the bridge to float on water. So guys, we are continuing to enjoy the experience of the bridge and learning more about it. I hope you are continuing to see some of the machines like the generators and other equipments that help this bridge to function properly. As we move forward, you can see them guys. part that we can see in front of us it marks the end of the moving part of this bridge this means that the rest of the part does not move So guys, as you can see, these are some floating areas, they help the bridge to float on water. So guys, we are about to get to the end of this floating bridge and this floating bridge is really helping the people from this part so that they can be able to ease their movements. Uh, the breeze here is on another level, it's so cool. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this part of the video and you can continue requesting in the comment section what other place would you like me to take you for a tour and I'm definitely going to do that. So don't forget to subscribe, share, comment, like on our video. Have a nice time.